five, four, three, two, one. Main engines start and lift off of the Delta II rocket. The Delta RS-27A main engine and four solid rocket motors ignite to lift the final Delta II rocket away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Delta begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Delta II reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 30 seconds. At 1 minute 23 seconds, the four ground-lit solid rocket motors are jettisoned. Four minutes 24 seconds into flight, cutoff of the main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters a short coast phase. Eight seconds later, the Delta II separation system activates, releasing the first stage. The vehicle now weighs a little less than 6% of what it did at liftoff. Six seconds after first stage separation, the second stage engine ignites. During ascent, ICESat-2 is protected inside a 10-foot diameter payload fairing. At five minutes, the payload fairing is jettisoned. Second stage engine cutoff, or SECO-1, occurs at 10 minutes, 53 seconds. The second stage and satellite now enter a coast phase for 36 minutes, 41 seconds. At 47 minutes, 33 seconds into flight, the second stage engine is reignited for a second burn. Second engine cutoff two occurs seven seconds later. At 52 minutes, 40 seconds, the Delta II releases NASA's ICESat-2 on its mission to gather data to track terrain changes, including glaciers, sea ice, forests, and more. Approximately 18 minutes later, the second stage engine ignites for a third burn. The third second engine cutoff occurs at nearly 71 minutes. Deployment of the first CubeSat occurs at nearly 76 minutes, followed two minutes later by the second CubeSat. The final two CubeSats are deployed two minutes later at just over 79 minutes. Together, the CubeSats will conduct space weather research.